everyone now in English. Welcome to Kitchener, where it costs more for a two-bedroom than it does for a castle in Sweden on a lake. Because after eight years of Justin Trudeau and the NDP, housing costs have doubled across Canada. In fact, the average rent has doubled, the average mortgage payment has more than doubled, the needed down payment for the average home has doubled. Justin Trudeau has inflated the cost of everything by printing $600 billion of cash, causing inflation, which bumps up interest rates and now forces Canadians into the prospect of losing their homes. Two million people. Line up at food banks in images that were are reminiscent of the Great Depression after eight years of Trudeau's taxes and inflationary policies. Yesterday, he joined with NDP Premier from BC, who is probably the worst housing record of any politician on earth. Literally, look at the prices. Vancouver is now the third most expensive housing market in the world, comparing median income to median house prices Check it on demographia.ca for yourself. This is because Justin Trudeau and the NDP have printed cash to inflate costs and they've blocked construction by preventing people to build through bureaucracy and taxes. This, by the way, has been very good for land speculators because if you are one of the lucky few billionaires that own plots of land that are zoned, and permitted to build on, your land is, is artificially inflated by the fact that you have no competition. Because all the other places that, you would, that, that competitors would build are blocked off by local government gatekeepers. Great for the very rich. Thank you very much to the NDP and Liberal Socialists. For Thank you very much to the NDP and Liberal Fascist Socialists, guys. This is Ernie Racing. I just came across... Um, Pierre Polyev, he's doing a speech, looks like in a grocery store um, in, uh, I think it was Kirchner, Ontario. So I figured we'd listen to a few words um, where he's pretty much uh, stating the facts about what Trudeau has done in eight years. Should we go on? Just, just a little bit more. Okay. Stuffing the, the pockets and the faces of the billionaires while screwing over the, the middle class and causing for the first time in Canadian history that young working class kids and immigrants cannot even afford the prospect of ever owning a home. It now takes 25 years to save up for a down payment for the average family in Toronto. Before Trudeau, you paid off a mortgage in that time. After eight years of Trudeau, it now costs over $2,000 for a two bedroom. When I was housing minister, it was $1,000. The reality is we have the worst housing pr prices in the G7 after eight years of Trudeau, which is crazy when you think about it because we have the most land to build on. It should be cheap to build a home. And then you have crime and chaos in our communities. Crime and chaos caused by Justin Trudeau's catch and release policies supported by the NDP. Yes, they want to ban your hunting rifle, but they have no problem releasing repeat violent criminals into our streets to terrorize. And of course, you guys have heard me say this time and time again. Last year, I had four thefts or attempted thefts off of my RV. The year before that, I had two, I believe. And before that, none, none, none. And I've had this camper now six years, since 2017. And now crime, the catch and release program, the free drugs, the free fentanyl, the free opioids, the free, I mean, literally the crack, the the users, the 10 cities, the crime is out of control, the catch and the release, and give them their drugs back. That's what's going on in Canada utopia. Our people and destroy our communities. They decriminalize hard drugs like crack and cocaine while handing out tax-funded opioids that are then sold on to children, causing this opioid crisis to spiral out of control. And who profits the big pharma companies, the corrupt big pharma companies who caused the crisis in the first place. And let's talk a minute about big pharma. Here we are in a natural health food store. Uh, Justin Trudeau has accepted big pharma's plan to force complicated taxes, fees, and regulations on natural health supplements that will cause one in five 
of these. Oh man, I almost forgot about this. Uh, of course, Dr. Tina is all on top of this and telling me about all the bullshit the regulations. You know, being a naturopath doctor is now they're going to make it illegal to be a naturopath doctor. Like essentially, you, the price of everything that's natural and good for your body is going to be exorbitant because little companies will not be able to survive because they won't be able to pay the $50 million fee to sell certain products that we all need. Or is to go out of business that will cause the majority of labels to no longer offer their product in Canada or develop them here. Uh, and of course it will help force Canadians to buy more pharmaceutical medicines, which is the goal. So that Canadians have to profit pharma, big pharma rather than taking care of their health. So while Justin Trudeau's red tape attacks small uh, businesses that offer natural... I mean, it's so easy for Pierre Polyev to just rip into Trudeau on every freaking topic that the Liberals done or do, from banning hunting rifles, for forcing our medical autonomy, for perpetuating the the pharmaceutical industry and the medical devices industry that is hurting Canadians in your bodies, in your minds, the MAID program. I mean, you could just go on forever trying to cap the building of roads, um, the carbon cr taxes that are doubling and then tripling and quadrupling th this year, where essentially the price of fuel is out of control, which makes everything out of control. It just never ends. He's attacking our constitution. He's attacking the Canadian Charter of Rights. He's attacking our human rights. Ah, and, uh, and I'm shut down, guys. Oh, it's just so ridiculous, so obvious that he's purposely working for his communist, whatever it is, WEF, communist CCP, wherever the corruption is paid from. World health supplements like this one, his big pharma friends make off like bandits once Again, uh, the good news, th and, and then on top of all of it, we have the Arrive Scam. Oh. The Arrive Scam, where just... The Arrive Scam. All right, under the Arrive Scam. Yeah, a uh, waste of $250 billion to this little company of four individuals. Um, you know, they're all just doing the kickback to Trudeau. Trudeau pays his four friends. They give him the kickback. Around in circle, the corruption goes. Justin Trudeau uh, paid 60, at least $60 million dollars for an app that didn't work, that we didn't need, and that could have been done for $80,000. One company, GC Strategies, has had approximately a quarter million dollars of contracts, according to a La Press study. Quarter million dollars of contracts for a five-person company that operates out of the basement of a cottage for... IT services, even though the... Sorry, it's five people, not four, like I heard previously. Five people, $250 million. And I know it's $250 million is not very much now, thanks to Trudeau inflation for his counterfeiting our dollar. But still, it's an incredible amount of money that I couldn't even imagine having a one two hundred and fifty of. <laughs> that I'd have... Uh, you know, it just to buy um, an Earth Roamer will cost you a million dollars U.S. to buy an Earth to buy a truck with a box on it to live off grid. You know, so <laughs> yeah. As you've seen, I've been doing lots of research to try to figure out how uh, Doctor uh, Tina and I can get this done for a half a million U.S. dollars, so we can get the fuck out of Canada and get traveling. But he admits they don't do IT work. Well, common sense conservatives are calling GC Strategies and its employees to testify under oath at a parliamentary committee. They're refusing. And so we've put forward a motion to have them arrested and physically dragged into the room to explain where our quarter billion dollars went. Where's the funds? Yes, you're... <laughs> WTF, where's the funds? What the fuck happened to our money? Did you guys see that parliament shot I did go back in my channel? Liberal MPs started a, a filibuster, that's a talkathon, talking into the mic, running out the clock to prevent GC Strategies officials from being brought into committee. What have you got to hide, Justin? Why won't you bring in these consultants to explain 
why you gave them a quarter of a billion tax dollars. If you've got nothing. I mean, this is just like deja vu for the McKenzie and associates, the billions of dollars for the associates to help Justin choose his decisions. The one of the biggest firm, so one of the biggest consulting firms in the world, McKenzie guys with, and the guy who used to work at McKenzie's now it works for the liberal government. Unbelievable. Like this shit just never stops. This just never stops. Ah, where's the made program when you need it? to hide get your mps out of the way and let us bring in them in here because we have single moms who are putting water in their kids milk because they cannot afford the cost of groceries who are now paying taxes so that you can stuff a quarter billion dollars into the pockets of this shady company stop hiding let's see the truth the good news is common sense conservatives We'll bring home the Canada that we know and love. We'll ax the tax, build the home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, this is not a Pierre Polyev channel, um, like many of the other YouTubers. Um, for me, um, he has, he screwed himself with Christine Anderson. He showed his true character where he's vilifying a real world freedom fighter, Christine Anderson, the German politician from the, in the European, um, in the EU, and she's an MEP and like he vilified her calling her racist and stuff for pointing out the truth about immigration for just pointing out the facts about covidism so Pierre Polyev is either completely two-faced as well or as my brother says well he's just appealing to the base of the voters you know most people don't understand covidism most people don't understand immigration well I think a lot of people do now understand it and so he avoids all topics where he can't win both sides. And there's a problem with that because then he doesn't show his morals. He doesn't show his plan of action completely 100% transparent. It's gonna, he, his plan of action changes to their polls about what the voters are going to vote for. And so this is where I, Pierre screws himself for me personally, where he doesn't have these this is my foundation this is what i believe he's just you never know what he believes because he didn't support the freedom convoy he didn't support um the march across canada until all of a sudden it's really really popular and it's at the end and then like, oh i'll join your march now right I'm talking about J I'm, I'm talking about james top of course guys so anyways thanks for watching guys um yeah, he's pointing out Trudeau is a, a wicked, wicked with his with his wicked witch of the West, Christine, or no, with his wicked witch of the West, Christia Freeland, just like the USA's version of uh, Christia Newland. Oh my God, I got.